Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to GTA San Andreas and our 100% playthrough where today we will be collecting the first 25 of the horseshoes. Uh, there are 50 horseshoes altogether. We're going to get the first half of them in this episode. And uh, the first thing you want to do is get the jetpack or the black project which we collected in the truths mission earlier on. Uh, if you don't know where to get it, or if you can't remember, I'll show you on the map. It's over where the flight school and the um, air yard missions were up here. Let's just get that and come over here. And we are off looking for number one. Um, I've got my notes ready. We're gonna... We're gonna go for it. So at this point I have a little mini panic thinking that maybe I didn't make my my notes in depth enough and that I'll get slightly confused and lost. But we're gonna head over this way. Horseshoe number one is um, not far at all from where we're going to start at the Four Dragons Casino. Um, helps if I adjust the thing. It's right here on this roof. Now I will show the location on the map just in case any of you are following and trying to find the locations yourself. So it's literally right there. And next we are going to go over this way for horseshoe number two. Now what we're looking for is um, a set of houses over, not that way, this way. There should be a set of houses over here. Uh, is it this way? I think it is. Yeah, uh, it might be that way actually, my bad. <laughs> this is where my notes are not doing too well. Um, yeah, I think the houses are over there actually. That's me being stupid. So we want to go over to where all these houses are. As you can see here. And one of these houses has got our second horseshoe in its garden. Okay, here it is. It's in this garden right in the middle. So there's horseshoe 2 out of 50. I'll show you on the map because I um, made a bit of a mess of that. There it is. Yeah, my notes weren't too great there. <laughs> um, they will be better for the rest of it, I promise. So next we're going to head over towards this bridge. And there's some more houses here as you can see and the horseshoe is just in this garden of this house right over here God, I'm having a hard time uh, directing the thing jetpack but here we go 3 out of 50 done so yeah, I'll show that again on the map it's right here easy enough to follow um, if you've got the jetpack these will get ticked off pretty quickly to be honest with you um, so now we want to head off in this direction <clears throat> and you can see there's this roof here it looks a bit like a castle these two red roofs and the horseshoe is actually right in between those roofs so if you land up here you'll quickly tick off number four so we're getting through these pretty quickly on the map it's right there in this Camelot area um good classic name there <laughs> from um, rockstar and now we want to head this way into this like proper area for Camelot. And can you see that roof over there with no coloured bit? This one here. This is where you will find the next horseshoe. Um, if we can land on it. There we go. Horseshoe 5 out of 50. So we're already 10% of the way through. Uh, that's it on the map for those of you following. Uh, and next we want to sort of head off this way. Over the top of here. And you'll see this pyramid in front of you. And our sixth horseshoe is just on top of the pyramid right at the top on the roof so there it is you can see it there and that's horseshoe 6 of 50 so on the map for those of you following it's right there it's called the camel's toe again classic rock star name <laughs> uh, there's plenty of these by the way coming up soon and um, number seven is literally on this wall surrounding the pyramid here uh, you probably can't see it from this height but there is a, a little wall that runs along the edge right here and there is the horseshoe on there. So straight into number seven. Um, I believe you can see, sort of see the wall on the map. So it's right there. And then on to number eight. Um, so we want to head south now. And over here there is an area with some warehouses. As you can probably see. Now where you've got these warehouses here, the red and yellow one together. You want to head over to the south side of this red building. And on the other side, you've got these little 
these little window things with a little ledge. And there is horseshoe number eight. So just land in there. Get horseshoe number eight. There it is on the map for those of you who are looking and following along. And next up we want to head south. So take off again. Go past this nice checkerboard looking building. Or chessboard, whatever you want to call it. And you'll see here there's a church. And we're going to land on this church roof. Which will give us our next horseshoe right there. Hiding in there next to the spire. Horseshoe 9. On the map, there it is. Should be easy enough to find. So, we want to head off now, this way. Going east, and you can see these buildings over here, just on the outskirts of town. And they've got these sort of coloured containers. Now, if you go round to the side of this, there should be some dumpsters. And in one of the dumpsters, you can find our next horseshoe, right there. So a land in there. It's a skip, I guess, rather than dumpster. Horseshoe 10 of 50, a fifth of the way through. There it is on the map, right in the bottom right corner of um, Las Venturas. And now we're going to head back towards um, Four Dragons. Because we want to go back in that direction because there's some more over there that we're going to look for. So let's head back across. So yeah, these are pretty easy to tick off. Um, as long as you know roughly what you're doing and where you're going and don't do what I did and make bad notes, uh, maybe follow along with the video if you're trying to collect them yourself. But yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Shouldn't take you too long. Um, if you've been following the playthrough for a while, you know the other collectibles I did 10 at a time, but I figured we can probably get quite a few of these done all at once. So let's go for it. Right, we're heading this way, out towards this bridge. Four dragons behind us. And uh, there's this big bridge here. And this nice grassy area. There's people crashing into each other down there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and underneath this bridge, you will find the next horseshoe. Yeah, we're crashing into that apparently. There we go, up on the ledge. I'll just show that on the map as well, just in case uh, you got a little bit lost. It's on the way down towards Red Country, or Red County. I always call it Red Country. Right, and that's that one done. So yeah, as I said before, you can tip these off pretty quickly. Shouldn't take you too long at all. Right, we want to head. It's getting a bit misty now, which isn't great for directing people, but we want to head this sort of way. And there is uh, another chapel around here somewhere. I, I cannot see very well. Is that it over there? Yeah, there it is. Right, so there's a chapel over here. And it should be up on the roof right there. Oh, plane there. And there we go, horseshoe 12 of 50. I'll show that on the map just in case you got a bit lost in the mist. Right there. Okay, now we want to go north to a warehouse. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. Um, and in this warehouse, there are some little entrances for trucks to pull into. And that's where you'll find your next horseshoe. Easier to just run and get it. And that's horseshoe 13 of 50. They're all pretty close together, as I've said before. And that's that one done. So, we want to head off this way now. We're looking for a yellow building, which is right here. And if you look down this little alleyway, sort of between the wall and the building, just land in here, then you will find another horseshoe. <coughs> Lots of horseshoes. That's um, 14 of 50. I'll show it on the map again. Right there. Next up, we're going this way. Thank God the um, the mist has gone away. Right, now we're going towards this college area. And there's this big garden. 
and right in the middle of this ring in the middle is going to be our next horseshoe. So 15 of 15. It's quite distinctive this place on the map as well so you should be able to follow it easily enough. Now the next ones we're going to get are over in the airport region. So we're going to head over here towards uh, the airport of course. And we're going to fly towards the terminal building in front of us, <coughs> which is just over the runway. Las Venturas Airport, there you go. Nice and easy does it. Yeah, without the jetpack you won't be able to get most of these. You could fly to them, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. <coughs> Sorry, I've still got a little bit of that cough left. Um, and there's the horseshoe there, right next to this building. 16 of 50. Right there, easy enough to spot, right next to the big building. Right, next we want to head north, over the building, until we see these coloured containers here, next to this hangar. And if we look between the runway and these containers, we will find our next horseshoe just laying on the floor here. Someone's not very happy with us. Anyway, horseshoe 17 of 50. There it is on the map. And next, we want to head northwest over towards the corner of the airport. Over here near the fence is where we'll find yet another horseshoe. There we go, horseshoe 18 out of 50. Hope you guys are following along okay. This is more of a tutorial video, I guess, episode than the normal style, but there we go. Right, so we want to leave this area now, and we want to go west. There is also, if you need it, a body armor here. I'm going to pick it up because I've run out. So, let's head this way. Uh, our next one is going to be on the map. It's an area that looks like a phone right here. Whitewood Estates and that's where we're going for the next one you can see it just across here and it's actually in the bushes here just down here you see all these bushes and there it is in there hiding away not very well it's got to be said 19 of 50 done there it is on the map right number 20 we want to head north now and we're going to go up past this red building. There's actually a safe house here as well, which we're going to buy later on. Because we've got to buy all the properties for the 100% as well. And where this red building is here, just past it. If you land in here between the building and the fence. You will see Horseshoe 20. Right there on the map. Let me just change my page over. Right, so we want to go back towards Four Dragons now. As we're going over to a different area of town. So let's head back. It's good fun flying around with the jetpack actually. Um, it's a quick way to get around. Yeah, it's a good good little gadget they added to this game, isn't it? So we want to head back to Four Dragons then go back towards the pyramid. That we saw earlier on. <coughs> Sorry guys. I will eventually get rid of this cough, I promise. It's taking forever to go away for some reason. So yeah, we've got 25 more of these to collect after this episode. I don't know if I'll do it straight away. We've got two more stadium missions. Uh, we've got the rest of the trucking missions as well. Those are going to be absolute hell. We've got another ammunition challenge. There's two more levels of that, I think. So yeah, there's still a lot to do. Um, we've got the quarry missions, we've got uh, races, street races. Um, there is still so much to do. But we are ticking them off slowly but surely. Right, here's the pyramid. And we want to go past the pyramid towards this multi-story car park you can see over here. Past the Sphinx. Yep, the camel's toe. Right, over to this multi-storey car park. Past the sign for this um, 
well, shop videos and toys. Fair enough. Uh, right, so you can see here it says parking on the edge of the building. And it's right there. Um, the camera's not helping me out here. There you go, it's in there. And that is number 21 of 50, which means we've got four more to collect in this video. There it is on the map for those of you looking, just by Royal Casino. And next up, we want to head west. Towards this big building over here, which um, looks a lot like a familiar building. I won't say much more than that. There's this nice water feature out front. And this water feet etcher has some um, jets of water coming out of it somewhere. Is it round here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, right in between those skulls. The flaming skulls. I'll show you on the map. There it is. Pirates in men's pants. Is what it's called. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. <coughs> Next, we want to go east. And there should be right nearby uh, this circus over here as you can see right by Starfish Casino and we're going to land on the roof of this circus which we can actually purchase and our horseshoe is right there 23 out of 50 done there it is on the map oh I missed one I think Yeah, I should have gone back this way. Okay, um, not a problem. We'll go back to the last bit we were at. <laughs> so, I think it was over here. Yeah, so where we want to go from here is over... <coughs> Let's look at the map. Up here. So, from Pirates in Men's Pants, you want to go up here. And this is where the Jets of Water are. Over here. This is what I was getting confused with on the last one. So there's these Jets of Water. Which don't put the jetpack out, of course. Go figure. Um, yeah, and it's there, underneath the water. So that's Horseshoe 24 of 50. So I'll show you it on the map. It's in this little semicircle water area. So, we want to go back over this way now, towards the circus. And then, we want to head from the circus, we want to go over here. <coughs> past this building. And if you look down here, there's a sign that says 24-7 on it. And it's just on the roof behind the 24-7 sign. Uh, not there. It'll be down here. And there's this little drop down here. Which you might not have seen before. And it's actually in there. So yeah, quite an easy one to miss this one. Because this is a little, a little alley that goes around. But that is Horseshoe 25 out of 50. I'll show you on the map. It's right there. And that brings us up to the halfway point on the horseshoes so not too bad at all um, in the next one we might well do the next 25 I'll see how I feel um, but yeah that does it for this episode so let's check our stats screen it shouldn't have made a difference it hasn't 52.94% complete uh, but we will of course get a boost when we get the remaining 25 so hopefully this has been a help for you for those of you who are trying to find them all um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.